my biggest experience after my whole kind of childhood was Alaska. I moved to Alaska where I had like a crazy experience. Um, I lived with a host family. My mom was like 73. I was like 13 back then. My mom was like 73 and my grand, like my father over there was like 75 or something like that. And they had like three dogs. And um, I shared that whole experience with a, uh, with a host brother from Yemen, um, which he was so nice. His name was Abdullah. And it was such a magical year where like I saw the Northern Lights twice. Like before the plane, before I even got to Alaska ever, when I was about to arrive with the plane, I saw the first Northern Light, for, which was like insane. I remember I did not know how to speak any English at all. So I was just like, what is that? So like the passenger right next to me. And he was like, the Northern Lights. And I was like, what the Northern Lights? Cause like I could, like I've only heard about the name uh, Aurora Boreal or whatever. But yeah, it was such a crazy year. That was my first whole experience in America. And then I came back, I finished um, high school in Mallorca, the high school I was talking to you about. And uh, literally guys, I met such a many good friends like that I'm always gonna have there. Like Marta Saverat, Marina, everyone. Um, but seriously, um, just made the whole, like, my best friends, I'm literally gonna die with those friends. I made them there in my high school. My high school. In my college, I've never made really many friends. I was always much of a loner. Cause I did college so fast too. Cause, uh, well, you know, many of you will know, well, anyways, many of you will know um, that in America, you can take as many subjects as you can, like as you want. Uh, therefore, I graduated my whole year, my four year degree in two years because I was just like studying. I didn't really have many friends in Denver where I was living, and um, I also started working while I was studying. So it was just kind of like a very successful year, like years for me in a way of production, where I was able to like graduate cum laude in two years with experience for like with labor experience. And then um, when I graduated school, I was just like, I don't really know what to do, you know? So I decided to move to LA and that's where everything started. Um, it's crazy because when I moved to LA, um, I did it kind of like a crazy way. I had like some money saved up. Well, like you need to have money to, if you're moving to LA, you need to have money saved up because it's expensive. So, um, so um, I moved there and I started living with my best friend Marcos, which many of you might know who he is. Um, and then after that, um, I moved to West Hollywood where um, everything kind of started um, and just had like the most amazing time year there, you know, like you guys have, like, have seen it all. But yeah, okay, so now I've talked, I think, way too much. So I'm gonna like answer some questions. And my, like, I'm not so nervous anymore. So we'll do much better now. Let's go up. Let's see. So I'm 22 years old, um, if no one knows. 2 2. Um, let's see. I'm at my home. I should, guys, I should show you some of my, like, my home. So I moved to Madrid, like, five six months ago and i started living with my grandmother because like i obviously did not have time to like look for an apartment before i got here um and as soon as i got a second like i started looking for jobs and at the same time i was looking for jobs i found this uh, apartment which um i love because it's kind of like very like juvenile in a way of like bachelor kind of like i don't know it's cute i'm just gonna show it to you guys hold on I don't even know how to turn the camera on here. All right, so like, that's like, you know, you can see like everything. I need to put so much art and like all of that art has to go. Like I hate that painting so much, um, but yeah. And then like this kind of like the room, you know, you got like, you guys know how many clothes I have. So like I have all of that and all of that full of clothes. And then this is just kind of like the living room. Um, and yeah, I found this one night when we were partying. I found this in the street. 
And I was like, I need it. Like, it has to be in my home. And then, like, I started playing, like, the whole night. It was, it's like a fun memory of the night, I guess. Um, but yeah, I've only been here for, like, four months. So I need to fill it up with, like, stuff. Also, I have, like, the person that keeps me company, which is Alfred. It's currently charging because it's been working, like, all day. I clean up the place for you guys. I kind of was feeling like a date, you know, like this is kind of like a date. And then like, this is just like the terrace. And it kind of sucks because like, I see the inside of the patio, which is nice because there's like no noise of the outside or anything like that. But at the same time, I cannot see the street. And like in times of quarantine, I really wish I could like have a peek um, view into the outside. Oh, digo, stop it. <laughs> vale, vamos a hablar un poquito de español ahora también para todo el mundo que um, me quiere escuchar en español. Oh, Yago, todos estáis siendo unos estúpidos. My friends are being so dumb. What would you like to get in your next degree in? Uh, what's your dream job? Oh, you guys know my dream job. It's always been about fashion. I definitely want to do a master soon where I can um, grow my whole um, my whole knowledge about fashion and kind of dig into that whole world more. Right now, um, I feel like my life has always been so insane and in a way of like next step, next step, next step. I've never really had time to like, okay, let's stay, he let's stay here for a second and like enjoy it for a sec, you know, like make good friends. Like I never make good friends. Like. The only people, like, it's hard for me to make good friends, and it was harder for me to make good friends in L.A. I mean, not in L.A., in America, because of, like, the whole different culture. So, like, I would be able to, like, conversate with them and, like, be able to just go through the day just fine. But, like, the big connection of, like, oh, my God, I love you, um, just wasn't there with so many people. Um, so this year, I really wanted to, like, hold in for a second like I found an amazing job where I'm so comfortable at and like my co-workers are so much fun and um and yeah I've been just chilling to be honest and I just want to chill for this year because I've been having so much fun and I'm so sad everything like stopped you know suddenly we're all in quarantine which is like the saddest time in the world but, um, okay, let's just, let's, I'm gonna stop talking and read some of your comments because I'm excited. I've never seen one of your live videos. Well, I've never done a live video, so this is my very, very first time. I was so nervous at the, at the beginning, but now I'm feeling just fine. Love Spanish culture, lived there for 10 years. Yes, where do you live? Spanish culture is so much fun. It's just like everyone wants to party and socialize to the street all the time like we don't want to stay at home and I think it's being very hard for all of us to like stay at home but you know it's necessary in times like this so you gotta uh, petition for some good worldwide agency to notice me um, you know it's always like my whole thing with modeling um, I've never modeled for like oh I want to be a model that's all I want to be you know that's never been um my thing i've never i've never wanted to just be a model it's always been like oh i love taking pictures and i love like modeling for like being like fun with my friends but um oh, some. but it's not something that i want to do only professional like i've always known i want to open a business and do something with you know i've always been like a, an intelligent person so i want to <laughs> use that so humble. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's um, so yeah, modeling has always been for fun for me. Um, and with you guys, you guys have made it so much more fun. Like, I take it way more serious now for you guys because, um, as many of you know, like, pictures is what I give you kind of the most. So, I really want to give you like quality. <clears throat> pictures where you like enjoy and like your different vibes and all of them and just like I don't know I like doing that for you and I think that's fun and I just want to keep doing it as a fun thing but by side.
So let's see. Come stop smiling. I know I'm smiling too all the time. Can you see it's such emphasis stupid? <laughs> it's kind of like when you're flirting with someone, it's just like being cute. Uh, anyways, um, why can't you stay in America? Well, I've said this enough. Um, I couldn't stay in America because my visa was over. And um, when your visa is over, um, there's just like not many much stuff. Like there's not much you can do. You know, you can either get married, you can like get another um, masters, or a company can like buy you a visa. Oh, uh, my company was not gonna buy me my visa. Uh, we like as you guys know, um, they were like not married, <laughs> and. Um, and then a degree was just so expensive, like everything was just so hard to move on. So that's why I was like, you know, even though I've had like the most three, like the most amazing three years of my life here and like especially last year, like you guys know last year for me was like so special. So, um, so yeah, it was like I've had my good experience. So now I wanted to like go come back here to the culture where I'm able to connect more and like the best with. And I'm, I have to say how fun. It's been, I don't feel like I've made a mistake. I feel like I haven't lost anything, which is great. Cause I don't know, I'm just like very happy about everything in a way of like, we've like, we were able to handle it very well. and. And um, and we're in contact like every day. It's just so much fun. Anyways, how do you meet your how do you meet your photographers? So I meet my photographers, um, you know, like very different ways. But it's mostly through Instagram or like if I'm shooting with a photographer and he knows another photographer that would like to also like shoot me and has like any idea, then we like I do anything, you know, like anything was fun. Like I always try. I'm always interested. Like I always see work of other photographers and like if I like your work and I'm definitely gonna like hit you up and say like hey if you wanna like work together let's do it Abrazos desde Benidorm, mi amor, home Oh so my friend Javi, Javs Garcia, which you will see it's around here he just uh, got like he just got out of the hospital from coronavirus so he literally just made it out and I'm so happy, so everyone just like, be happy with me about him, let's see. Uh, don't be nervous, I'm from Brazil, you're so pretty, love you, uh, you're so pretty. You guys know whenever I'm like, um, if you come in, oh, you're so beautiful, I'm always like, you're so beautiful. That's because that's something that I say always. Um, like if you know me and you compliment me anytime, I'm always gonna compliment you back with it, like, like, if you tell me you like my boots, I'm always gonna tell you my boots love you and stuff like that, you know? And I think it's always important, like, first thing, it's very important to compliment each other. Here in Spain, people do not do that often. But like, you go on the street and like, people look at you, they will literally look at you from, from like, bottom to top. But they will not even give you a smile, you know? They're just kind of like, bitches about the whole thing which I hate. So, um, always remember to compliment everyone, okay? Just for anything, you like anything, just say it. Um, let's see. I'm doing this so not organized. I really wish I was better, but next time. Yes, we're so nervous and sweet. Summer plans, Marina. Um, so uh, right now my summer plans are just like, oh, uh, I like, don't know. Guys, I'm so bad at making plans. I'm very not well organized. I like to more like leave the day by how it is, you know? So I'm always, even like organizing something makes me uncomfortable. I'm like, I hate organizing stuff. But it's very important to organize the things that you uh, want to make, uh, wanna want them to go well, you know? You must do in life often, baby. Yes, I have to come back here enough. I have more times because this is actually fun. Like now I'm having fun, you know, let's see. Uh, I love Velvet, okay, so a lot of you are asking about Velvet, so yes, I love Velvet, you guys, um, Velvet, uh, and my whole, like, my whole year, my whole last year was Velvet, um, being quite honest with you, we were listening to, cause like, all, we have the songs already, so, um, we were going over and over 
them all the time, like every car ride, every, like everything. We were just going over them all the time. So my whole past year um, is with the sound soundtrack of Velvet, which I think is a very amazing um, experience to have had, to be honest. Like, yeah, it was amazing. That's <laughs> So um, I'm like, what do you do to like go through this like quarantine? Well, let's just talk about quarantine later. Like we don't like it's, quarantine's been all over lately. I'm so tired about talking of it. Let's see. Like I hablo un pelín en español, so people want me to talk about in Spanish. So for like a bit, I'm gonna say something in Spanish. Okay, let's see. Oh, um, vamos, vamos a contestar alguna pregunta. En español, ¿qué haces para divertirte? Uf, esto es lo mismo que he antes. ¿Qué es lo que más echas de menos durante la cuarentena? Durante la cuarentena lo que más echo de menos es sobre todo, bueno, obviamente los amigos, la gente, la familia. Um, es, es que todo, o sea, no puedo más, no puedo más. Estoy hasta los huevos de la cuarentena, de verdad. Guys, we're 242 people watching this live right now. I feel like that's insane. Oh, it's 138. Goodbye. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna let's see. Do you wanna? Okay. Yes, of course. I wanna see Adam again. It's definitely gonna happen soon. Like I love him. He, he's been the most amazing um, influence person. Like inspiration just everything in my life. So um, I I will always be so thankful for everything and I'm so happy we're able to still be so good, like very good friends and like keep in touch almost every day. So I'm not worried about us losing connection. I don't think that will ever happen uh, anytime soon. And I'm just happy because like I said, um, everything went very well and we're still very much in touch. Your life make my day. It's making my day too. Like, I got up. I'm like, let's go. Anyways. Los amigos de Javi, una vez esas preguntas. Let's see. You're the best. Okay. Guys, stop of all the best. You're the best. All right. Let's give a minute of appreciation, okay? Um, Because I definitely have to, like, you know, want to have, like, a sit down kind of like. Thank you. Guys. Because, um, it kind of looks better. Um, because, um, well, you guys have just been so amazing to me since literally the beginning. All you have given me is love. And I'm just so thankful from, like, the bottom of my heart to, like, I don't know, to, like, just count on you and, like, see you always there, so loyal and so fierceless and so funny and, like, I love when you guys like talk between each other and like so many people have met through like my comment section, like friends that like people that text me and tell me that, oh yeah, I met this friend through there and like we've like we're so close now and that's just like everything to me, like just being able to interact with you, it's insane. Like to have you guys. So Thank you so, so much for like being there always, been so amazing. And um, I'm so excited for whatever the future will be like. Um, I'm gonna try to like work as hard so it's a cool. Hey buddy, I got dressed up for you. Um, but yeah, just thank you guys for always being there. I love you with like everything of me. And I'm always thinking of you every week. I was like, I need to take pictures, I need to take pictures. And like during many lunch, like, like with all the quotes that I put of like swerving on lunch breaks, thanks to and like all of those quotes, it's because I'm literally on lunch on my at my job. I'm like, fuck, I need to post a picture today. So I'm like, hey, can you please take a picture? Like we'll do it real, real quick, real fast outside. And um, most of the pictures that you see are from that. So, so yeah, it's from like seconds that happen in a day, but that are like kind of very important to me. So, anyways. Let's keep doing this. Hey, you will. Estos proyectos laborales, el estudio para el año que viene. Vale, pues, 
Um, what I want to kind of do next year with like either work or study, I definitely want to find my master's degree. Um, there is this amazing master in Italy um, that I that was kind of like how my eye for. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, I like the idea of moving to another city again where I have to like restart again and make friends again and all of that is kind of like not so great to me right now. Like I just want to like chill for a sec. But, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, let's see. Uh, so yeah, just find a master and keep working. Right now I'm very comfortable with my job. So I'm going to stay in it for a while. Because that's also what I, like I've always been changing jobs real fast. Like every eight or nine months. So I definitely want to like, um, um, home, you know, make this feel more homey. Let's see, have you ever been in Montreal? Uh, no, I don't think I have ever been in Montreal, and it sounds so sick. I definitely want to go. Let's see, your English is better than some English people. Um, no, thank you, but no. Let's see. Um, my favorite part of Madrid, uh, that's just by La Carina. That's the club I go out to. <laughs> that's just a very specific spot. Um, I stayed awake all night just so I won't miss your life. No, Heather, you mean the... Okay, Heather, I love you so much. Like, there, like most of you, like, I know you so much already, like, from talking. Like, Monica, like, every, like, Suzanne, just all of you. Veronica, like, Angie, like, all of you guys that like, we've been talking for so long, like, through Instagrams. I feel so connected to all of you. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm talking with a very high-pitched voice. I'm gonna, like, take it back for a second. You better do this regularly. Uh, n I don't know, you guys. I'm, like, I was a bit afraid. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm definitely, like, what I wanted to do, oh, uh, essentially, was to do a live um, outside where I'm, like, walking and, like, I'm doing, like, some other, like, fun stuff. But, um... But yeah, we're in quarantine, so I can't do it right now. So the next time, it will be... Ah! For you. Would you like to face chat me? I mean, it would be amazing if we could, like, all of them, like, all of us come in one right now and kind of, like, have, like, a meet and greet kind of way. That, I guess this is it, so feel hot. Let's see. Mm, I'm mesmerized by you. Stop it. No. You make my day. You guys make my day. Stop being so loving. Oh, so cute. Let's see. I want to touch your curly hair too. Right now, I just put on some products. So it's just a bit wet. Once it dries, um, it will look much better. Where will you get your master's in? So like I said, if I get my master's, it will be something related with like fashion or like whole like e-commerce something let's do oh uh, why my friends are amazing all of them are like in like aldo which is like the blonde guy he's in saragota with his boyfriend juan is in his hometown with his parents um yago is here and many of them are here i just haven't been able to see them which is awful um, but yeah, I'm also alone, um, I'm alone here too with Alfred, so is everything being not fun, but we'll see. Why do you delete the Ratatouille videos? Did I delete the Ratatouille videos? Are they not there anymore? I love Rat my, the Ratatouille I met there. It should be there, like it should be there. Let's see what else, literally the one. No, I stop you guys. So cute, all of you. Que es lo primero que vas a hacer cuando termine la cuarentena. Saludos desde Albacete, ¿ves? Juan is in Albacete right now. Um, and the first thing I'm gonna do when the quarantine is over, um, I just wanna go outside and like run. I never run, but this time I just wanna run and like breathe air and like see and like go out. I'm gonna go out. I feel like I'm gonna take a week off work and like to just, you know, be able to just hang out there. You look so happy. Yes, this has been fun. I'm into it. Where you may decide you become a part of our family. What may you decide to become a part of our family? 
Um, nothing really make me like decide to like become a part of the family. I just it just happened, you know. Like before I met Adam, I did not know who who he was. Which please don't bite me, everyone. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but I just didn't know. So like I met him, and you guys kind of came with him, and and I was, I'm so down. Like you guys, I love you so much, and it's been so much fun. Since then, I'm so happy we were able to to meet because you brought so much to me, and I just want to give it back to you. So yes, let's keep doing. So yeah, as you know, I don't smile very much in pictures, but if you're in front of me, I cannot stop smiling. Like it's I can't. Are you dating at the moment? I'm not dating right now. I'm just kind of on my own. It's just kind of not being fun, but we'll talk about it another day. Do you want to come to Iran? Yes, we'd love to visit Iran. I that like I've traveled <clears throat> the most around America because I've been like I've been there with tour around there around there. Um, so I visited the most there. Um, but now I kind of want to concentrate and visit Europe because I haven't been to many places like Italy. I've never been to Italy. I've never been to so many of them, so so girl, next next thing is Italy and Europe. I'm gonna turn it down a bit. I wanna focus. Focus, focus. focus. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> let's see. Um, I better meet you one day. Yes, we better meet. I don't know how it's gonna happen, but I like I should do something where. Where we could meet. We'll see in the future. We'll, we have time. Don't you worry. Yes, I've been to Germany. I've been to Berlin. I actually flew to Berlin with my best friend uh, Alba. She, Alba, and I have, are like she's like the closest person I've ever met. Like she, I met her when I was like two, and we've been nonstop since there. Um, so uh, there was like it was during summer, and I was like, hey, do you want to like? Come to Berlin. We can go to like my brother's house because his her older older brother lives there. She was like, we'll come to his house, and like he said, he will leave his house for us. So like we'll be there uh, by ourselves, and then we'll be around. And then he has a car, so he will take us around, and and everything. And this is very Alba. She's so unorganized, you guys. She's just a mess. Uh, do not like do not let her plan any trips. Um. So when we got there, his brother comes, picks it up, picks it, picks us up, and he's like, "Oh, okay, where is the car?" And he's like, "What car?" And then we took like five trains, which was like two hours of like metro after the flight to get there. And then when we got to the home, we we're like, "Oh, cool, like." Where is our room and all, of, uh, and all of that? And then he's like, "Well, I share a house, and then we'll have to share our room." <laughs> and then we had to share the room with him. But it was literally the most magical trip at the end. Like, I cannot express. Like, Berlin was so magical. They took us everywhere. They were like so nice. We bonded so much. Um, and a very funny story too. That was my, cause his older, older, her older, older brother is gay. So that was my very first time where I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna be um, around with an actual like gay person that has come out of the closet, and um, and he had a, a boyfriend there. So I also met them. So it was like my first, <clears throat> it was like my first experience. Um, of a normalized gay life, me push, like living it, which was like very important to me. Um, yeah. Also, since uh, Alba's brother met me, like since like we like were raised together, since I was younger, he always had a bed on when I would come out of the closet, so he knew it uh, from very soon. All right, let's see. Um, favorite country? Uh, my favorite country. I don't know, you guys. I love everywhere. All of the countries are so unique for its own, its own things, like its own cultures and its own like like each country has such a unique things that others don't. So I think every country is special. 
Do you support the LGBTQ community? Girl, I'm in the LGBTQ community. So you better support it if you're in it. Like everyone, like fucking culturize yourself. Like, first of all, I hate when like gays don't really like know anything about AIDS or anything like that. Like it's very important to know for everything that our community was through and how they survived and how we each have survived. Because, like, nowadays, you know, everyone can come out. There's nothing wrong in coming out. But we really need to understand who made that possible. Because for us to be so normalized nowadays, someone someone opened, uh, opened the way for us. And we have to understand that and uh, know that and be grateful for them. And always, like, fight for it, too. Every time you hear something wrong, cut it. Every time you see something wrong, cut it. And I mean, you cut it is because you have to get in there and cut it. Because if you do not cut it, no one else cut, will cut it. And that person will not know that what he said was wrong. And a lot of people are just saying things wrong because they just don't know any better. So you just need to teach them better. Let's see. What else? Can you ask preguntas? Okay, let's do preguntas. Like, I don't know how this works, but I think it's here. Oh, here, I have so many questions already. Hold on. Are you keeping safe? Yes, um, I'm very safe. Oh, I can put them out there. That's so cool. Let's see. <clears throat> let's see, let's see. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is so... So, yes, um, safe and healthy. Um, so I'm pretty sure I got the coronavirus when I got sick a few weeks ago, as you all know. Um, I'm pretty sure that because, like, it was so weird. Because I, like, you know how whenever you get a, a cold or, like, a flu, you, <clears throat> like, you feel it coming. You first have mucosity. I, I like, so many people laugh at me. Uh, like the way I pronounce mucosity, but anyways, <clears throat> so you usually have mucosity first, or you have cough, you see it coming, hold on you guys, <clears throat> okay now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink some water, let's stop for a sec. My friends are texting me saying that they're inside of this, like, direct. Anyways, I hope you're enjoying. <laughs> um, so it was so weird because I um, I was feeling just fine. Um, I was literally feeling just fine. And then one day I was feeling kind of off, but, like, nothing weird. Like, I did not have coughs or anything like that. Um... And then, like, I woke up the next day and I have 38 of fever, which I don't tell me to, like, change, like, degrees to Fahrenheit because I'm so bad at that. But, like, 38 of degrees is fever. Like, you are have a bad fever. And then I had fever for two days, but I still had, like, no mucosity or anything, or anything. It's just, it was weird. So I think I got it. I'm completely fine now. I cannot wait to, so, to, like, this whole thing is over. Let's go to the next one. I'm like, I said, which Lana song? Oh my God, I love Lana Del Rey so much. Um, when her last album came last year, it was such a special time, and I even got to see her live. Um, Marcus actually took me there as kind of like a, I think, yeah, it was like a present, like a goodbye present, because I was like leaving on that, on like that same month or something. So that was very special. Let's see, I love Lana. Always like the best. Oh my God, I turn around the camera without knowing. Oh my God, I'm doing it again. See how bad I'm this, how I, I am at this. Oh, Netflix shows. Let's talk about something I love. Um, <laughs> oh, let's see. Netflix shows that I really like. I really like the last one that I posted. Oh, Madam J.C. Walker or something like that. So cute, such an inspiring story. It also has some LGBTQ elements in there, which I love so much. When I said, I was like, yes. Like, you know, like, when a movie for me has to have, like, different elements, this kind of series had it all. So it was, um, it was very cool, very cute. Let's 
the other. Let's see. I'm just like, cause people are asking questions both ways, so let's see. Do you love spookers? I don't think I've never watched spookers. Please don't hate me. Have you ever been to Germany? Yes, Berlin. Um, let's see this. Uh, Toy Boy. Okay, I started watching Toy Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like Toy Boy, Toy Boy. <laughs> yeah, so started was in Toy Boy, Toy Boy, Toy Boy is so hot, obviously. <laughs> but um, I think the TV show on its own is not good. Like, it's, let's be honest, it's just good because they're hot and that's it. But they're not really great actors. They're just hot people, you guys. Let's see. Oh my God, someone's a dear Miss Pharaoh. You guys are just there so much. I need to buy myself something like a cat or a dog. But so much. Um, what is your kind of a guy? Um, my kind of a guy. Let's see. Um, my kind of a guy. Um, I don't know. I really don't have a type. Um, I just definitely like someone that is kind of. I don't know, just like the typical things, you know, I really like, someone needs to be really paying attention to me always in a way of like, not needy, but like, I am needy, <laughs> so, so yeah, you gotta give me what I need, or, or I'm gonna be sad, you know, and it's not gonna work, so I definitely need someone that is, you know, always wanting to cuddle, always giving attention, always making jokes, like, from me making, like, always being laughing, is the most important part. Like, if I feel like I'm always in the person in this relationship who is trying to make jokes all the time, it's not going to work. So, yes. Let's see. And you know it. Your kind of guy, it's me. Uh, okay, so my brother just commented, your kind of a guy, it's me. Carlos, it's weird if my brother comments <laughs> that. So, please not. <laughs> okay? And no, I, my brother, my brother is not my type. I, I, um, like, I need someone that's going to um, inspire me, definitely. I need someone that's going to show me things I don't know. Let's hold the phone up. So, yes, if you know things I don't know, let's have a date. <laughs> um, let's see more questions, you guys. It's been, oh, my God, we're already 30 minutes in. This is good. Um... Okay, so this question, <laughs> um, yes, obviously I've kissed girl, uh, girls, I think uh, many of, uh, like, well, in my case, at least I'm going to just speak for myself. When I was growing up, I um, was definitely ashamed of my, of being gay, which is awful, but it, it is what I was raised into the idea. I was bullied in high school a lot. I don't know if you guys know this, but I was bullied in high school. Um, just people would, I would just walk by and people would just be like, oh, look, that's the gay one or, or um, all of those things. I also, when I was a kid, <laughs> when I was a kid, I also used to play with um, Barbies a lot. So that was like another thing that they would make fun of. Um, but it was like um, middle school. That was like the, the worst area, I would say, where, I, where it was the worst. Um, but then, but then I got pretty. I kind of lost weight. I got pretty. So I started getting all of the girls. <laughs> and uh, everyone just like shut their mouths. So, and then another important thing that I feel like I need to talk about. Also, my window is open. So I feel like all of my neighbors are listening to all of this stuff right now. Um, and also, um, a big important part of this whole thing is that um, if you're getting bullied, um, the people that are bullying you are like they don't they, they don't know like they they don't truly really mean to bully you. They're just trying to go with everyone else. Because as I grew older, the people that bullied me at the beginning ended up becoming my very very good friends. And once they met me, they were like. I'm so sorry I ever said anything bad. Like, I only think you're not the best of you because we're real close friends. 
And I would say a lot of them uh, ended up becoming my friends. So it's very important. It's very important that you just show people. You know, I feel like it's gay person has that responsibility to make it's at least it's own areas or where you, it's or where you're born. At least you gotta educate that area. So that's important. Anyways, let's keep. So yes, I was with girls. I had a girlfriend for a year. Um, uh, but yeah, it did not work. <laughs> let's move on. Um, guest people. I don't know what that means. Have you ever been to let's see Israel? No. When is your birthday? My birthday is 18th of April, and I'm gonna be stuck in the house. Uh, if you want to send me cakes, if you want to send me some artwork, artwork to pose on my walls, please do. Let's move on to the next question. No, I'm doing this correctly. Any plans for your birthday? Well, any plans for my birthday, they're obviously going to... Be at home, chill at home, eat a lot of food, I'll order cookies, maybe a cake, I'll probably go online shopping, and yeah. So, I'm so sad. Okay, so I need to tell you, because like, I had a plan, like I had a plan for my birthday already. Um, I was going to go with all of my closest friends, with Juan, with, with like all of them, to Mallorca, to my home, and we were just going to stay there for a whole weekend. And it was, I was so excited, so excited, but as you all know, coronavirus had some plans. Uh, let's see, tell us about your last birthday. Oh, you guys, you know how special my last birthday was, and I think it's gonna be so sad <laughs> to compare both of them together. <laughs> but, um, uh, I mean, it was amazing. It was just, like, such a crazy night. Like, um, like so, like, everyone I knew was invited. Um, there was, like, the cousin of Jason, I think, uh, started doing all these, like, fire tricks that were so cool. Uh, it was, a, it was 422, so I think everyone was just, like, very high, or at least me. <laughs> and, um, just so much fun. Such a, such a fun night, I swear. Like, I'm trying to remember. Like, Carmi was there. Like, everyone. Alison was there. So much fun. So much fun. Even my coworkers were there. That's so cool. So cool. And then, like, he made it so special. Like, oh, yeah. He uh, he got me, like, so many, like, uh, Paloma Spain clothes that you guys know how much I love Paloma Spain. But he got me, he got me all of the clothes that I've like you've seen on my pictures. So that was my birthday present, and I was like, <laughs> um, I definitely uh, had a couple of pretty woman <laughs> moments in my life, pretty woman times, um, which just were so funny. Um, so cute. Let's see. See, sí, Carlos, hijo, uh, my brother is living in this life. Um, let's see. What is your favorite TV show right now? So right now I'm watching. Oh, I used to never watch YouTube. I like I don't even know what that was until two weeks ago. Um, but then two weeks ago I started like I started like poking around and then I started seeing like all these like YouTubers like Sean does days. Dawson uh, or whatever and like Jeffree Stars and all of these and I have just watched all of their series like I went crazy <coughs> mode. Um, I don't even put on makeup but I want to buy that conspiracy palette because anyway, you probably don't know what I'm talking about it's fine let's see um let's see uh, uh, it's a sweet have you watched the movie Love Simon. I did watch Love Simon so good. I love, I love, love, love Simon. So yeah, if you guys have not watched a movie and you guys want to watch a movie, go watch Love Simon. Next question. 
this ooh this can be a fun question do you guys want to see it let's see it's so heavy you guys it's so heavy also, before I do that, you guys have to see this. So you know how much I love all the art that you guys do. Uh, I'm so grateful for it. Um, I think it's so cool. I think it's so unique. Um, and I'm just like so thankful, thankful for it. Uh, but my coworker did this and gave it to me as a present. Um, she wrote some things in the back, kind of like, um just like a cute thing you know but yeah i love this so much so if you guys want to send me uh the things you do please i would love that because i would love to have to have it just like hanging up somewhere let's see um oh my god also another story um the cologne that i use well i think this is not a much fun to start right now but this cologne was given to um to us as like the gift bag after the madonna's after party after like los oscars and i'm still using it and i fucking love it but yeah let's see closet let's see closet you guys it's so heavy like everything's gonna fall let's see <sighs> are you ready y'all ready <laughs> So um, it's like so cool, so heavy. Like, oh, you guys, this is such an amazing piece of art. Like, it's like so beautiful. It's probably all done, like hand work. I wore this for Halloween. Um, I think you guys like remember my like last Halloween. But it's so heavy, you guys. Like, you have to feel it one day. And then it's kind of just like this. Um, yeah, I just had this stack here from these other colors. And yeah, oh my god, I have to put it on because I have to tell you this story. Give me one second. All right, that's good. In order to hold it, I have to put two hangers. It's so fun. no mask with what i'm wearing but so you guys can see like these spikes right here so when i was wearing it i went to like because my ear was scratching so i went to like scratch my ear and can you see how scary that looks well it went all ear. it was it hurt it hurt i don't i didn't believe but it was it hurt and then um, I don't know, another iconic jacket of those that, um, he gave me was this one. I've never worn it yet. But I definitely will wear it soon. It's so cute. Ugh, I love clothes. Oh, let's, let's dive into it. So, yes. So cool. It has like all these like pieces on, which they do fall. You probably see like all these holes that are just, you know, it's just kind of old now. But it's so iconic. It's so like all of them are old leather. It's so pretty. And then in the back, it's even more special. Like all spikes. Yeah, it's so insane. Like, you guys, when I'm wearing these jackets, I'm like, if someone tries to bother me, come here. Like, I'm ready to fight with these jackets on. Um, do you want to, like, still watch, like, more closet stuff? Should I do a couple more things, or should I stop? No. Tell me. I don't know what to do next. Okay, Heather is loving this, so we're going to continue. Let's see. Um... Mm -mm. I mean, another iconic jacket that I always wear that you guys know already is like my black jacket. <laughs> so cute. Um, uh, uh, um, let's see. Obviously, I have like all of my shirts are to like get them washed. 
but like obviously like oh this purple like gucci which is also so pretty i'm a mess to show this but because it's not like give me a second you guys sorry i accidentally locked my phone but yeah it's just so pretty with all the freaking logo on it like bye and like i don't know like pants you guys know how much i love my carbon claims like this i also have like the palomo spain that you have seen in many like um many uh pictures and stuff let's see um lately i've been really into buying secondhand uh jackets and like clothes i love secondhand if you ever, if you can ever buy second hand, do not think it twice. Um, some take note, take note. Some good websites for second hand clothes are the Real Real, and um, what was the other one? But the Real Real girl, I've shopped so many things there. Like from the Real Real, we can say like these these square boots that you know how much I love a heel. Um, so the story is so funny because, so I bought this, I saw these boots to this guy wearing them in LA, it's a friend of Adam, and I was like, I need them, like, I've never had such a heel, like, I need to buy them, and these were, like, the last pair of, like, Farfetch or something, and they were, like, they were pricey, they were, like, 500 bucks, um, but then I saw these other ones in the real, real, exactly, completely new, um and they're kind of different as you can see like there's they're not shiny leather and they have like a pattern on it but it's like the same heel and everything and they were 200 so before you buy anything new go see if there is anything you can buy that is used because it's so much better for the planet and it just everything is so much better also you don't you're not wasting so much money let's see um other shirts also this shirt i've never worn it um i have to find an outfit i mean not find an outfit but just like get into it it's funny it's cute um i think it's kind of like a suit suit kind of shirt but we'll see, we'll see um let's see also next picture i'm posting is gonna be with this shirt many of you have already seen the picture so sorry it's not completely new but um yeah and then oh my god this is the i posted a picture with this shirt like a second i can back it up um i love this shirt so much like look at this you guys look at the artwork in this like also look at this okay so if the flower ends here when you cross this is the same image <laughs> like what that's quality like oh my god anyways um and yeah and then like my baby it's my baby for sure and i think that's all closet stuff for now so thanks because now i have to organize all of this <laughs> um what else we could do up here um i have something to show you guys let's see where that is because I have to announce something. Um, I'm going to do a giveaway, uh, which I'm pretty kind of excited about because I've never done it before. Um, so that's happening very soon. I literally just need to read um, how I'm going to do it. And as soon as I read uh, how it all works, I'm going to do it. Uh, but look at this, you guys. Uh, <laughs> I'm excited. Uh, it's it's nothing, you know, it's like very dummy, but it's not dummy, but it's cute. Anyways, I'm just going to show it to you. Wait, I only have two minutes remaining on my life? Why is that? Do lives come to an end? Wait, you guys, I'm freaking out. Is that true? Can someone confirm with me? Why are they saying goodbye? Well, anyways, before the live is over, I'm going to show it to you. So look at this. Happy Socks contacted me to do a giveaway of this like whole new like socks design that they've done. Um, I need to take a picture with all of this. But hold on, give me a second. 
But then inside, you can find, like, it's so cute. Like, we will rock you. And they're all socks, you know. And, like, they have, like, different, like, you know, things on them. And it's all from Queen. And, oh, I'm pretty sure Queen didn't know that this was happening. But <laughs> but they did it. Oh, and Galileo, Figaro. So cute. And then, like, four of them come within the same one. Yeah, do a giveaway of Adam's jacket. <laughs> yeah, right? That would be good. But no, I love it so much. I can so so personal, you know? I cannot. Um, so personal. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm freaking out. There is, it says that there is 23 seconds remaining. So after these 23 seconds, we're going to see what happens. Because I don't know what this is all about. I didn't know there were, there was like an end. And there was... Join me in 20 minutes. So I don't know what happened, you guys. I think we're starting over. Let's see if, if everyone's back. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. Like, it's so weird. Because there were a couple more things that I did want to say. So let's just give it a second for everyone to, like, come back in. Do you like, by the way, the giveaway? Do you think that's a cute giveaway? Like, I think it's cute. Um, so, yeah, uh, I just have to read the whole instructions of how to do it, and then I have to, like, post a couple things of it, and then it's happening. Oh, so, okay, Nanotica confirms that you only have one hour to do a live. That sucks. Why? Why would they just put a timer where you are only able to do one hour? That makes no sense. How many were we before this? Like, did a lot of people got lost in the way? If you have, I'm so sorry. But I don't know. I just wanted to, like, <clears throat> tell you a couple more stories and then we'll be over. Oh, Serena, you're here. I love you so much. I miss you so much. I hope you guys are so well. Oh, that made me so happy. Let's see, live sure, baby. My brother is living in this chat, you guys. Okay. Um, a couple of stories. So the first story, um, it was when we were on touring and I was hungry. This was like the story. <laughs> so pretty much, I can't remember in what city we were in because it's so chaotic whenever you're touring. Like, you're literally like... Getting off, like, show, off, show, another city, another city, another city. Like, we will wake up within two weeks in, I think. We will wake up and we're like, I don't know where I am. But it was so much fun, you guys. And, like, bustling around and, like, traveling, just everything. And they are literally, like, such an inspiring...